I invite you to join us this morning for Holy Communion. It is always a blessing when we have this privilege to share with one another and this gift of Holy Communion. And so I invite you to prepare your table. If you haven't done so yet, you can certainly pause uh, the video and get things ready. Uh, so uh, before me, I have a chalice with juice in it. And then I also have a loaf of bread that we will break. And I also have in front of me the cup that we have provided for you at the church. If you've been able to zip by and pick that up this last week. Of course, this is the juice underneath and the wafer on the top. But I have that ready to go as well. I have, as I've uh, done in the past weeks, months really, I have invited Pastor Vince to help me lead in Holy Communion. And so I turn that portion of the service over to him just now. Let's share with one another in Holy Communion. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. It is, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right. And a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, you remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, brought us to a land flowing with milk and honey, and set before us the way of life. And so with your people on earth, and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. By your great mercy, we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of your Son from the dead and to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading. Once we were no people, but now, we are your people, declaring your wonderful deeds in Christ, who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. When the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to be with us always in the power of your word and Holy Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, he gave thanks to you, he broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup. He gave thanks to you. He gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ offering for us as we proclaim together the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and cup. Make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ, that we might be for the world, the body of Christ redeemed by his blood, by your spirit. Make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours. Almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.
I invite you now to receive the bread and the cup. Let's first, if you have your own loaf of bread or kind of bread that you have at home, go ahead and pull off a piece of that bread and then take the cup. This is the body of Christ, which is broken for you. And this is the blood of Christ, which is shed for you. Take and eat. Amen. Um, and if you have the cup that is from the church, take the wafer. This is the body of Christ, which is broken for you. Take and eat. And this is the blood of Christ, which is shed for you and for me. Take and drink. Let's pray. Oh, gracious and loving Lord, we give you thanks for this day. We thank you for feeding us with bread and cup. You feed our very souls. Oh Lord, remind us in this day of the gift of your mercy and grace. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive us of our sins. Please wash us anew so that we might be raised with you to move forth and love this world with so much love just like you have done. In the name of Jesus, we give so much thanks and we pray. Amen. Amen. I invite you to join with me in the Apostles' Creed as we affirm our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now I invite you to hear these words from the prayer of St. Francis. If you will please bow your heads as you listen to this blessing. Oh Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. It is my prayer that this week you would be blessed by the peace and the joy of our Savior. Go in peace. Amen.